Hey, what's up you guys? I'm Sunny from Sunny Glow LLC and in this video I'm going to give you some information on your root chakra and how you can figure out if your root chakra is low and ways to enhance your root chakra. Alright, now the root chakra is located at the base of your body um, and it's between your genital and your anus. The root chakra is represented uh, with the color red. Okay, and a lot of times when we think of the color red, we think of love, we think of passion, we think of anger, <laughs> we think of physical matter, and that's kind of what the root chakra is. Also, the element is earth. So a lot of earth signs, Capricorns, Taurus, and Virgo, you know, often suffer due to them having a weak chakra. The root chakra funnels energy in and out of the body. So with me saying it's located between um, your genitals and your anus, just see that energy goes in, energy goes out. You know, it's trying to get rid of toxins and it's trying to bring in really good energy as well. Um, the chakra, the root chakra, excuse me, it pretty much controls the lower three chakras um, itself, the root, the sacral, and the solar plexus. So there's a lot of weight on the root chakra and sometimes it can be overworked especially if the other two chakras that I discussed are weak themselves. Now with the root chakra be having a connection to earth it often pulls energy from the ground so be mindful of the locations that you are in because if the energy is negative just know that your chakra will feed off of that energy and it can create um, a negative influence upon you and your attitude so honestly keep that in mind as well and it also has vibrations with the colon the urinary tract and the bottom of your feet so if you find that you have problems um, like with urinary tract infections, um, any colon problems, any like bunions, um, like ashy feet, um, what else is it? Oh my god, like flat foot. Um, just know that you may have some issues with your root chakra. Um, the organs that this chakra is connected to is, like we discussed before, the anus, the genitals, as well as the spine, the legs, blood, and large intestines. Now to me, when I think of blood, you know, I think of DNA, and it makes me think of family and history. So if you have issues with your family, just know that your root chakra is going to be um, affected as well. Um, this also has a connection to generational curses and like if your upbringing you know was fairly difficult or whatever the case may be and if you have blood issues um, like uh, child don't give me the line like the particular hepatitis <laughs> I don't remember which which one it is so yeah um, but yeah if you have any issues with the blood low blood um, high blood pressure that's issues within your root chakra and also the root chakra deals with our sense of survival our physical body like I discussed earlier with the physical our safety um, finances home and the connection that we have with earth so um, if if you're dealing with like any issues of like fear, feeling abandoned, anxiety, if you're constantly working to make money, 
if you just want to hurry up and finish things like you're very impatient if you don't feel grounded if you are obsessed with things that are just like crazy if you're worrying all the time if you have a fear of change you don't like change you're too cautious if you're tired all the time if you're like aggressive and impulsive just know that you know you have some issues with your root chakra and you need to find ways of strengthening your root chakra as well also um if you have any weight problems arthritis issues with your legs and your knees blood like i talked about earlier as well as ankles um and issues like with your back and your spine yeah it's, it's some issues going on child but ways that you can enhance your root chakra honestly going outside taking a walk within nature you know it doesn't have to be an hour walk you can just walk every day for like five minutes or just sit outside on your porch or on your balcony or you know whatever you feel comfortable in you know for a fairly good amount of time and just just feel earth allow for your feet to feel the dirt to feel the grass feel the wind um just just really connect with earth and also just connect with yourself you know connect with your home if you have a messy home that's also problems with your root chakra you know clean up your home like just whenever you come home say oh i'm at home i'm i'm happy at home like hell even if you aren't faking until you make it child like you need to be happy with your surroundings okay because the root also connects with home um, and safety also foods that you can eat that will enhance your root chakra um, foods that come from the ground like turnips cabbage sweet potatoes potatoes um, let me think what else are the beets beets are really good um, or foods that have the color red in them like um, tomatoes oh lord what else is red I can't think um, pomegranates you can you can you know consider pomegranates kind of reddish even though they're very dark but to me for some reason pomegranates is a representation of blood feminine energy so when you think about blood I don't know I just think of like menstrual cycle I know that's kind of TMI kind of nasty but that's just how I see things um, yeah so I really hope you guys found this video very informational if you have any more questions just comment below and I'll see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching bye